Hi guys, it's Andrew here again from Alright Solutions. Um, welcome back to the third tutorial in this uh, series of creating a JSON um, web service using C Sharp. So, where we left off was uh, we were going to make uh, make the JSON string from the data table we just created, um, and then we're going to pass that back um, to the service and. Um, that from there, write the response back. So we should have the um, uh, the JSON data set ready for the client to pick up. All right, so let's crack on. Um, okay, so what we need uh, is another function. Uh, I'm going to return a string. <coughs> let's call this make. Uh, I don't know. Make JSON from table. Uh, we're going to need a an enum let's call it make yeah make json um, so there's this I found there's two different types of um, JSON that's returned. You, and Android seems to like <coughs> the ones without brackets, and um, some applications like it with um, w without uh, square brackets. So um, this just gives you a choice of of each. So um, spell <laughs> so <clears throat> we need to pass in the data table then we'll convert. I'm going to need a string builder. Let's call it SB. Right. So for each data row, let's call that DR, within the data table <coughs> that we're passing in. You want to loop through. So, if the length is not equal to zero, which means that we're on our second pass basically, um, we want to append a comma to separate so to separate each uh, each row within the within the data basically. So we've got like a list of application names, this will be the separates between each. Um, if it is the beginning of the uh, string, we just need to start that off, so we need to do another append. And then we start off the uh, JSON string this way. <clears throat> there are plugins you can get that 
can, can uh, convert data tables. Um, I've just uh, I've just made my own basically. Right, so we need another one, another string builder to. Once we've got the columns um, and the data within those columns, we need to format that into the JSON string. So for each data column. in the columns let's fetch out the um, the field name and the field value So again, if the length is zero, it's not equal to zero. Sorry, you want to append. Which means run to the next column. Else, we just need to um, append. Um, the format of, of that column. Oh yeah. There we go. Right. Okay, so then we want to append to finish off that JSON data line. Okay. I'll just shrink this down so you can pause the video and take a look. <coughs> right. 
All right, so. So basically, <clears throat> if you want to add the brackets around, I can do this. So we just insert it at the beginning of the, of the string. And then append at the end. So that's that, that's built the, <coughs> the JSON string from the table. So just need to do a little test here just to say if the length is greater than 2. So basically does it, if it contains data. <coughs> then we want to return the JSON string if there's nothing in there then that basically means that the, the SQL that we queried before um, there's no results so we're just going to return back to the client and just say no results found And then you can just handle it in the um, in the Android application or whatever client you're using. Okay guys, I'll, uh, I'll cut it there and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Cheers.